In this problem, we're going to do a hypothesis test for amine. It says, listed below are the lead concentrations in traditional medicines. Use a 0 0.10 significance level. That's going to be our alpha. That's the level of significance. To test the claim that the mean lead concentration is less than 16. So they can just give us a bunch of data. They don't give us um, the population standard deviation in this problem. So we're just going to use T. So remember the rule for uh, hypothesis tests for means is if they give you the population standard deviation, which, which they rarely do, you use Z. If they don't, you use T. So we pretty much always use T in these specific questions. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our null and alternate hypotheses. So the null is called HO, and the alternative is H1. And so we want to see if the mean, so that's mu, is less than 16, so less than 16. Typically, you write this down first, and this typically comes from the last sentence. Not always, but typically. Uh, and then here you have mu, and this is always equals. All right, that's it. Now we're just going to go to StatCrunch to do the next two steps, which are the test statistic and the p-value. So if you click this little box and click Open in StatCrunch, it should type in all of the data into StatCrunch for us. Let's try it. Yes. It looks good. It worked. All right, good. Then we go to stat t, one sample, and then we're going to use with data because we have the data. Now, it says select columns. So the data is in column, the first column called var1. So we're just going to left click on var1, and then we have to click compute down here. Oh, 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 um, I almost messed up. <laughs> I have to enter the 16, right? 16, and then change this to less than. Good stuff. Now we click Compute. So everything looks OK. It matches what we have. We pick bar 1. That's it. So Compute. And now we have our test statistic and our p-value. So our test statistic in this problem is negative 2.07. So negative 2.07. That's our t. So t is equal to that. And then we have our p-value. Our p-value in this problem is 0.034. The next step is the test decision. So we have to decide whether to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So if the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject. So in this case, the p-value is smaller than alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is bigger, we fail to reject. Step five is the interpretation. So we always start our interpretations by mentioning the level of significance. So 0.1 would correspond to 10%. So we'll start by saying at the 10% level of significance, and now we have to decide if there is or there is not, whoops, if there is or there is not sufficient evidence. So when we reject H sub 0, there is sufficient evidence to support H1. If you fail to reject H sub 0, there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. So we reject, so there is, there is sufficient, let's put suff, evidence to claim that, well, that mu is less than 16, right? We reject H0. So we have sufficient evidence to support H1. H1 says that the mean, the mean is less than 16. We can, be a we can do a little bit better by looking at the question, that the mean lead concentration, let's go there, that the last sentence, that the, that the mean, the mean, the mean lead concentration, what a big word, concentration, uh, for all such medicines, so for all, such medicines is less than 16. And then we have these, these units here. I'll omit the units in this case. Um, so let's go ahead and answer the question in the homework. So let's see. Looks like this is going to be the first one because it's got the less than. Let's try it. Yes. Determine the test statistic. It wants two places, so it'll be negative 2.07. That's our T. Good stuff. 
The p-value wants 3. We actually have it to 3 this time. So 0 0.034. And the final conclusion. So we rejected the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean lead concentration for all such medicines is, and we said, less than. So it matches pretty much uh, exactly what we have written down. Let's try it. And that's it. I hope that was helpful.